The Bonneville County Search and Rescue train all year to be prepared for any water-related emergency. And today they dove into their annual recertification training. Eyewitness News reporter Esme Cariega jumped in with them as well. Esme, uh, today you were swimming, having a little too much fun. I was, Todd, but I was learning, so don't forget. They're dedicated volunteers who risk their lives jumping into the cold waters to save lives. When there's a water-related emergency, these are the guys we turn to. They've responded to many life-threatening emergencies, such as diving into freezing waters. It's a year-round job for this team of divers, and I wanted to see what some of their training was like. I'm here with Dan, who's getting me ready with all this heavy equipment. It's about 30 to 40 pounds, and we're going to jump in the water. Let's go. Before getting started, my instructor walked me through the equipment. We were in a pool, so we didn't need a wetsuit. Some of the exercises they practiced were removing their equipment and putting it back on to simulate as if they were caught in debris or needed to swim through a tight space. Deputy Sheriff Daniel Sperry says training keeps them ready. We never know when we're going to get called out, uh, so we're ready to go. Sperry says they're moving into the busy season for rescues. Spring and summer is definitely our busiest time, uh, but there's times where we have to go out other times of the year, in November, December as well. Sperry advises. Life vest saves lives. We, uh, alcohol and water uh, are a dangerous combination. A lot of our drownings uh, involve alcohol. Now, Sperry also says that they respond to emergencies outside of Bonneville. They help nearby counties such as BM County and Jefferson County. Re reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Esme Cariega. It's a weird feeling breathing underwater like that, isn't it? Oh, I'm used to it. I'm a mermaid. Okay. <laughs> Looks like you had fun. <laughs> Thanks. Well, according to Idaho Health and Welfare, rivers and creeks and streams are the most common places for unintentional drowning.